Okay, sorry. Now we can get started. Uh, for those of you that know me, I'm better with things written down, but I left my notebook at my house this morning, and I already got all the way to church this morning, had to turn around and go back because I forgot something and was late for the first service, made it in right on time. But uh, for those of you who don't know, we're putting on a play, it's Every Knee Shall Bow. The key, kids have worked on it very hard. If you look up on the big screens, this year we're doing something a little different. We're keeping the words on the screen because I do understand sometimes it's hard to hear the kids. This play has such a meaning behind it. It's so powerful that we didn't want it to get lost. So if you can't hear the kids, you can follow along on the screens with the words. And to get started, I'd like to take a moment and introduce our cast to you so you can help follow along with the characters. I'm gonna start by introducing our angels. We have Libby Reynolds, Leanne Satterfield, the voice of God is by Stanley Maroney, and I do not expect him to stand. <laughs> He's had back surgery. We have Mr. Charles, who's played by Jackson Page. Mr. Executive, who's played by Sam Cushing. Mr. Jones is by Lee Satterfield. Miserous Jones is by Marley McHorter. Tommy is by Parker Mize. Alice is by Hannah Maddox. The Rock Singer is played by Ethan Maroney. Sarah is by Grace Ann Page. The Mother is played by Rachel Reynolds. We have the Daughters of the Mother who's played by Braley Stevens and Abigail Ford. The Football Players played by Gavin Satterfield. The Young Boys played by Nick Yates. And we have a Passerby played by Katie Cushion. And Mr. Goodman is Austin Maroney. So without any further ado, please join me in the presentation of Kids Central, Central as Every Knee Shall Bow. You have spoken well, my angels. Now listen, for I have an important job for you this season. Many people will pass through the, the square this Christmas. But many will be in a hurry and will be reluctant to stop at my manger. I want you to lead them to the manger and guide them to kneel before me. Yes, Lord, we will. But who shall we lead? There are so many. Yes, there are many. I will show you who to lead as they come through the square. Let us begin with Mr. Charles, the town groundskeeper. I want to talk with him. I sure am glad the town board voted to allow the manger to be set up this year. It seems like it's been years since we've had it in the center of the square. It looks like everything's in place. The manger, the baby, some lights, a little kneeler, and all the signs encouraging everyone to come and worship. Although, I think people are in too big of a hurry to stop and worship. Mr. Charles, come and kneel before me. I want to talk with you. Let's see now. Take time to take time to pause and worship. Just stop and worship, babe. You know, this is quite unique. Lots of towns have nativity scenes, but stopping to worship, well, that's another matter. You know, Lord, I'm not real good at words and well, I'm not even sure what I should say. All I know is all I know is that I've known you since I was a kid, and I know you come to save us and everybody else in this crazy world. Nobody really deserves your love. But you love us just the same. And, well, I just want to say thanks, Lord, and uh, Merry Christmas. Mr. Charles, you have a special place in my heart. I am pleased to hear your words of love for me. Blessed are you for keeping my ways. You cannot even imagine the wonderful things I have ready for those who love me. Go in peace. I will be with you always. Boy, I don't know what that was, but that was wonderful. It was 
as if the Lord himself was right here, talking to me. I felt such wonderful love. There just might be something to this worshiping business. I have to come back here and encourage others to come too. There's Mr. Executive speeding by. Slow him down and draw him to me. Yes, I know all about the mess, Mr. Executive. And it's because of sin that the world is in such a mess. That's why I sent Jesus, to save the world for all its sin and grief. But I don't get it. Nothing's changed. In fact, things are getting worse. Look hard into the manger, Mr. Executive. It is the baby that won the victory over sin. His death forgave every sin once and for all. Millions have not accepted my gift and the new life Jesus came to bring. They have pushed aside the very thing that can change their hearts and the course of the entire universe. Well, if you're in God, why don't you just make everyone believe? I will not force obedience on anyone. I offer the gift of faith in the heart of anyone who would accept me. I offer myself to you right now, Mr. Executive. Will you accept my love for you? I can change your life if you allow me into your heart. It won't change all those around you, but it will do miracles for your own life. Oh God, I want to believe you. Help me believe. Here comes the Jones family. Draw them all to me. You are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify me. We can be present of Jesus and what he, what he has done for us. Let's sing a simple song and then close in prayer.
Fight on for me, dear family. Stand firmly in the truth of the eternal life that I have given you. And continue to, to confess my name boldly before others. I love you too. And will fill your home with many blessings. Go in peace. Here comes the singer. I've been working on him for a long time. Lead him to my manger. Woe to you, O man of the world. Turn away from all your offenses. Then sin will not be your downfall. Rid yourself of all the offenses you have committed and get a new heart and a new spirit. I do not want anyone to perish, but I want all to come to repentance. Repent and live. Do you see that girl standing in the distance? She has such childlike trust that is an example to many. Lead her to my manger. Hello, Jesus. I love you. I'm so glad you came at Christmas. You love everybody so much. You are my best friend. Even when I am very bad, I know you still love me and die for my sins. Someday, I'm going to be with you in heaven. I can't wait. It will be the best place of all. We'll be so happy. Merry Christmas, Jesus. You are precious to me, Sarah. I will be with you all the days of your life. You will see much sin and sorrow all around you as you grow up. But always remember that I am holding you in my arms and will protect you. I will bless you all the days and one day will bring you safely home to me in heaven. I can hardly wait to. It will be wonderful. you see that woman and children sitting over there on the bench? They have been so unhappy. Draw them unto me. I hear your every cry, and I've seen every tear you have shed. Oh, my heart grieves with you in your pain. Look in the manger, my children. Look at my son, Jesus. If I could give up even my own son for you, don't you see that I would surely give you everything else? It was for your very tears that I sent Jesus. He brings forgiveness, new life, and hope. Cling to me and my promises. Bring me every trouble and heartache, and I will hear and answer. Be still and know that I am God, so do not fear, for I am with you. 
Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you in my righteous right hand. Do you see who is coming now, my angels? Do you want us to guide him to the manger? Yes, we shall have a good chat. Do you really think your life is over, John? Of course I do. The whole office is full of falling now. I will leave and play it. I'll be able to play it back to our game plan and get this thing. Your life is far from over, John. Why, it's just beginning. Just beginning, not hardly. I never planned for any man's worth to come from what he could do or, or accomplish on the outside. Your worth comes from within, from what I have made you. Right now you might not think so, but I know better. My son's death has made all my children worthy, and I have blessed them with every gift they need for this life. My life is in you, John, and even if you never pick up a football again, you are of great worth. John, I only ask you to have faith that what I am telling you is true. Trust me, John. You are a whole person when I live in you, and I can do much with your life. There are so many more joys you can experience with me that you never even dreamed about when you were playing football. Allow me to show them to you. Oh God, I want to believe you. Please get me up out of this pit. I will, John. We are embarking on a new journey, together. Call to me and I will answer you. I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. There's a little boy standing behind the Christmas tree. Yes, I see him, Lord. He looks frightened. He is frightened and unsure. He wants to come to my manger. Gently prod him over.
how can they believe in the one who how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these Oh, yes. Heed my call to spread my word. So many have not heard the news of my love. Tell them about how I came for them and died for them. Tell them how much I love them and will make their lives new and fulfilled. Tell them how I am with them wherever they go and that someday I will take them home to heaven to live with me forever. Tell them. Tell them. Yes, tell them. Mr. Goodman is coming through the square. Oh, yes. He and I need to talk. Mr. Goodman, why is he so warm and so loud in this community? Yes, he is. But I see into his heart. Mr. Goodman, would you kneel before me? Kneel and wash up by the court. Anything to set a good example. I see you have had a very successful year, Mr. Goodman. That burn unit you established at the hospital was really needed. It will save a lot of lives. Oh, yes. That has been the desire of mine ever since my brother was invited to fire years ago. I'm always trying to make improvements. Your wife and children are proud of you. You are very faithful to them and love them a great deal, don't you? Oh, uh, yes, Lord. Well, that's the trouble with our world today. Marriages are broken without their children to grow up in their guidance. What I believe strongly in the family is in good, sound morals. This world would be a much happier place if everyone would work hard at making it an honest living, helping each other out, showing more. Yes, it would. Mr. Goodman, I'm so glad you paused for a moment at my manger. I've been trying to get your attention for quite some time. Well, Lord, you know how busy I am. There are so many things not yet to be done. By the time I get over and give time to my wife and kids and serve the community, well, it seems there aren't enough hours in the day. Someday it will be too late. Too late? Too late for what? Oh, if you mean my project on... No. I don't mean your latest project, Mr. Goodman. I mean your commitment to me. Well, Lord, Sunday when things slow down a bit, we start going to church and... Mr. Goodman, now is the time. Now? Well, uh, I don't know. That's a hard step to take. I, uh... Mr. Goodman, I see your impeccable work record and your goodness to those around you. But I also see into your heart. There is a rebelliousness to, there toward me. You have never accepted me as Lord of your life. Hey, I don't get this. I don't have to know. I don't see the need for you or I'm just doing fine on my own. Mr. Goodman, I don't care how good you are. All men sin and fall short of the glory of God. All your righteous deeds are as filthy rags to me. You wouldn't be able to do even one good thing if it were not for my grace. I give life to every soul, 
man is so proud of himself. He can always see the good he, the good he does, but before me, he is but a helpless sinner. I don't understand this. I thought living a good, good life and helping others is, is what life is all about. Giving your heart to me is what life is all about. I created this world and everyone in it to give glory to me. The world was not created for man, but for God. I don't see the point of all this. You can learn telling people how bad they are and that they, that, and that they should worship the ground you walk on. No, Mr. Goodman. I want you to listen very carefully. So many people see me as only a God with a big stick. Yes, I do demand perfection, but because I am holy. But no one can be holy. That is why I sent my son, Jesus. Look into the manger, Mr. Goodman. Look deeply and know that I came because I love you. Yes, you, Mr. Goodman. Even though you are, are proud and rebellious, I love you so much. There is no one I do not love. That is why I sent Jesus to die for the sins of everyone on earth. And with this resurrection, the victory is yours. Yours for the taking. Someday I want to take everyone to heaven to live with me eternally. It will be a life like no one has ever known or can even imagine. Yes, you do many good deeds, Mr. Goodman. But all the good deeds you do or don't do won't make me love you any more or any less. I love you completely right now. Will you accept my love and forgiveness for you, Mr. Goodman? Will you give me your heart? God exalted Jesus to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. <laughs> 